The United Nations has allocated $20 million from the Central Emergency Response Fund to boost underfunded humanitarian in Yemen. The United Nations Humanitarian Coordinator Martin Griffith said relief agencies receive very little funding at a time when people's needs are growing. This report has more on this. As global humanitarian needs skyrocket and the funding gap widens, support from the multi-donor Central Emergency Response Fund reaches new record. The Central Emergency Response Fund is one of the fastest funding instruments available to help people affected by crisis. Managed by the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, the fund enables timely, effective and life-saving humanitarian action by UN agencies and others to kickstart or reinforce force emergency response wherever required. Since its creation by the UN General Assembly in 2005, and with generous contributions from 130 member states and observers, as well as other donors, including private individuals, CERF has assisted hundreds of millions of people with more than $8.6 billion across more than 110 countries and territories. This includes more than $2.8 billion to underfunded crises. CRF has an annual funding target of $1 billion. Today, Emergency Relief Coordinator Martin Griffiths has released $125 million from the UN's Central Emergency Response Fund in order to boost underfunded humanitarian operations in 14 countries. Afghanistan and Yemen top the recipient list with $20 million each. The allocation will have an added focus on advancing efforts to better include affected people in humanitarian decision-making. This injection brings the emergency fund's total support through its underfunded emergencies window to more than $270 million this year. This is the largest annual amount ever allocated to the highest number of countries, a reflection of skyrocketing humanitarian needs and the fact that regular donor funding is not keeping pace. UN Humanitarian Chief Martin Griffiths said, It is a cruel reality that in many humanitarian operations, aid agencies are scraping along with very little funding right at a time when people's needs compel them to scale up. In 2023, global funding requirements have surpassed $55 billion to support 250 million people affected by conflict, the impact of climate crisis, natural disasters, disease outbreaks, displacement, and other crises. Faced with these record needs, less than 30% of the funding required has been received.